for the Fronius Reserver, we have different LED status codes and we want to show you these status codes now. First up is to activate the battery system. Therefore, you activate the battery system on the left-hand side with the main switch. And after that, you can press the start button to start up the battery system. The battery will then drive up and will start itself. And you can see that by the flashing LED, by the flashing status LED side on the left side. And then when the Fronius server is started up and the inverter will start to discharge or charge it, you will see it instantly on the LED status. The first mode is the idle mode of the battery, where it is in idle or it is discharging the battery. In both cases, the LEDs are just at a constant light. And in our case, with the three LEDs, that means that we are at the state of charge between 50 and 75%. So this will indicate you the direct state of charge. The second LED status is the charging process. So that means when the PV inverter has enough PV surplus energy, it will start to charge the battery system. And in our case, we can now see the LEDs flashing from left to right. So that means that the battery system is being charged at the moment. And you can indicate this by these three LEDs. And when the battery system is further charged to over 75%, this would mean that there is an extra fourth LED indicating that the battery system is being charged to fully charged. Under normal operation, there can be also errors. And these errors can be displayed directly on the reserve battery. LED status and we now want to start the different error codes that are possible with the reserver. First error code is the over voltage and in this case there can be the case that there is an over voltage coming from the inverter or from another failure source to the battery and then you will get this LED status for over voltage. Second LED status is an under voltage. And in this case, there can be that the battery is being discharged and at the specific level, it will show you an under voltage failure code. And this is this LED status, uh, what you can see here. The third error code is then over temperature. And this can be when the battery is getting too hot for example, in a too hot ambient temperature, it can be that the battery goes into over temperature. On the other hand side, it can be that the ambient temperature is too cold and the battery goes into under temperature. So then you can see this LED status for under temperature. On the current side, we also see an over current failure. So that means that when there is a too high current on the DC side, the, the reserver will show you the overcurrent failure code. Furthermore, when it comes to data communication, we also have error codes for the internal and as well as for the external communication fault. So this LED status will show you the internal communication fault. So that means that you have either a communication error between the modules that are stacked in series or you have an internal communication error between multiple reserver towers. That means for the parallel connection, you will also get this internal communication fault. Last but not least, we have the communication fault for external communication. So that means that the communication to the Fronius inverter is being faulty. And then you will get this LED status for external communication fault. Furthermore, there are such failures like, for example, the fuse blow within the Fronius Reserva. The first series fa failure can be that the HV box fuse is blown. And with this LED status, you can see that the internal fuse of the HV box is blown. Second failure can be that the fuse on module level is blown. So this would mean that on the module level, the fuse is blown and then you will see this LED status. Last but not least, we have an BMS failure. So this can be that there is an internal failure, like for example, a relay that is sticked inside the BMS. So this LED status will indicate that the BMS itself has a failure. <music> 